In this video, I will be going over how I got Wi-Fi through the woods to two remote cabins for under $500. On this property, you can see there is a main house with a Starlink satellite dish set up and two remote cabins. One is 250 feet away and the other one is 300 plus feet away. In this image, I've added some green lines to represent where some driveways are cut in. This may help the range a little bit. After doing some research online, I figured out that the 900 megahertz band would be the best option to get Wi-Fi signal through the woods. However, the equipment is no longer produced that I can find. Here's an example of a used 900 megahertz transmitter. Uh, going rate is $409.99. That's almost the entire budget that we're gonna spend on this project. So that leaves us with two options, the 2.4 gigahertz range and the five gigahertz range. The 2.4 gigahertz range is better for penetrating woods and the five gigahertz range is faster and goes farther when in clear line of sight of each other's transmitters and receiver antennas. So 2.4 gigahertz it is. It's also a little bit cheaper, which works out great for this project. And here's a diagram of the entire system. We start off with a Starlink satellite dish and wireless router. Uh, the Starlink wireless router is acting as the DHCP for the entire system. We didn't have a ethernet cable adapter for the Starlink and we couldn't get one in time. So instead I just used a Wi-Fi access point, which ended up being closer to where the antenna was gonna be anyways. We then connected up to a Rocket M2. We then connected it to a 120 degree sector antenna, which then basically focused the signal in one direction towards the two cabins. At each of the cabins, we then have a Nano M2 that's creating the wireless bridge back to the Rocket M2. And then we have a Wi-Fi access point at each of those cabins. Uh, so it'll be cabin one and cabin two. This was a speed test done with the Starlink Wi-Fi router at the main house. This is a look at the Rocket M2 and the sector antenna. Not the prettiest thing to look at, but it does seem to work pretty good. This is a view of the two cabins and what we're dealing with as far as the thickness of the forest. This is at cabin one, about 300 feet away, looking back at the main house. This is a speed test done at cabin one. As you can see, it's not great, but it will work for what they need, an occasional YouTube video or some music streaming. This is at cabin two. You can see the Nano M2 mounted in the window on the upper right there. It was mounted with alien tape, which is just a double stick tape, and it seems to work pretty good, although I'm sure that there is a performance hit trying to get through a window and a screen. This is at cabin two, looking back at the main house. And this is the speed test done at cabin two. As you can see, it's significantly faster, 50 feet shorter in distance, and a few less trees seem to make a big difference. All right, just a short video walkthrough of the entire project. Where this video starts off at is where the transmitter is, the Rocket M2 with the directional antenna. Directional antenna is pointed towards these two cabins. Uh, you can see cabin one poking out right there. It's at a distance of probably about a 310 to 320 feet. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of trees in the way and small brush. Kind of pointing out some trees that are in the way. And these things do a good job of reflecting the Wi-Fi signal. Um, I mean, you should be able to get some pretty good speeds through there, but with all the small brush it, and all the leaves, it really just kind of reflects the uh, signal all around. Uh, here are the driveways that are cut in. I'm sure these help the signal out at least, at least a little bit. And walking down the driveway. And there is cabin two down there. Um, just that extra 50 feet of saved distance. Uh, you're getting over almost 10 times more internet down there than you are over here. And we're gonna, more trees in the way. And in that window, you can see the uh, Nano M2 inside the window. If I wanted to increase the speed and the distance, I would mount this on the outside of the building. I think that would dramatically help out the signal trying to get through. But for uh, ease of installation and for a little bit of weather protection, we decided to mount them on the inside of the building. Um, that way they can just stay there all winter and stay up and running. And then next year they can just plug it back in and should fire right back up. All right, here's the price breakdown for the entire project. As you can see, you're looking at around $500 to get uh, Wi-Fi out to two different uh, locations. So this would be a point to multi-point system. 
If I could change one thing about this system, I would try to find a outdoor rated wireless access point. That way I can mount the nano station and the access point on the outside of the building. I believe that would increase range and the speed of the entire Wi-Fi system. I really enjoyed this project. It was actually fun to set this up, test it, and see what kind of results we could get. I would like to try setting up two nano station M2s and seeing exactly how far they can go through the woods. I think that'd be a fun project. So if you have an extra two lying around, get a hold of me and I would love to uh, test them for you. So that's the entire install video. Just wanted to say thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Links will be down below for all of the products I used in this video. See you in the next video.